Hello viewers, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we are going to see a review on Airmail Vality 69 LG. This one is a, a dark brown golden marble finished pattern one. And in the top of the cap, there is a golden um, cap like structure, a sharp one. And uh, it comes along with a very strong clip here. And that is also in golden color and here there is a ring uh, that is also in golden color which gives a very aesthetic look to this dark fountain pen and in the tanker portion the model's name or the brand's name Vality was sta stamped here with a golden stamp this is looking so gorgeous um, let me show you the nib this one is a number 8 nib and this feeder is so thick and this can hold even the number 35 size nib you if you wanna uh, spare nibs for this one you can swap in with any other number 8 and 35 nib and we do have those nibs uh, in every variant like uh, a fine medium and or broad or flex or in a golden or full silver or in a dual tone also and this is a eyedropper one which has a long thread portion you can apply a silicone grease or a vaseline over here for a very good life for threads and in eye eyedropper this one is a very good uh, capability of ink filling system and the important thing uh, in maintaining a fountain pen is uh, cleaning it as we have to uh, maintain it uh, maintain everything neat and clean the uh, pens also requires that cleaning method uh, especially in uh, eyedropper like this much uh, quant capability of ink filling system uh, you have to wash it regularly because this uh, much ink will take some lot of days and time to dry so whenever you're filling uh, ink again you have to um, fill uh, till this much alone and uh, because overflow will over uh, ink will uh, give a overflow and also uh, the ink may dry and stay in this part so there won't be a very good flow while the feeder portion has a deep there uh, a fountain there there may be some uh, dust particles or dry particles may stay so you have to wash it while you f you are filling uh, the ink again uh, the in washing system is so simple as you can uh, separate these all parts and you can put in a water and wash it uh, with the running tap water and you can dry and fill the ink again and the removing process of this nib and feeder also so simple you can hold this so tightly and turn it and push it out this is so simple way um, then the grip area this grip area is so short and which allows a smooth uh, finish and it won't give any damage to the finger while you are using this for a long time and this ink filling system will last for long days as this is a very recommendable pen for uh, writers and the persons who love to write a lot and let me show you the writing of this pen for today's writing i'm going to use our penos violet color ink which looks so awesome while you're writing and which allows you to write a lot the fresh the charming feeling you get while writing with colors ink colored ink you will love to write a lot i think there is not a perfect flow in writing uh, in the nib portion for that you can tune this nib for a better flow uh, while manufacturing there may be suck, uh, some stuck over here so you can nip tune this 
let me show you the process with nail also you can do or you can do with a sh short uh, knife you have to do like this and turn this and do this in the low side this process you have to do this for at least one or two times in both sides and this will give some space in the middle of the middle of the nib and this will give a very good writing smooth writing too as I'm dipping a little quantity of ink because if I dip a lot some inks may stay here itself that will give a very uh, overflow ink writing so while you're filling the ink it will give a very uh, normal flow while I'm dipping I won't dip um, much above this above this area so this will give a, a different writing then let me show you the fast writing of this pen I'm drying the excess ink here there is no problem with the flow and the writing also so smooth this is 100% a perfect pen for a regular users and the pen's height and weight also not that much that much bigger one um, is there or a medium one I won't uh, advise this uh, for little ants as this one is a, a bulge one little ants like uh, school going children beginners can't uh, handle this properly for the beginners we recommend oliver nibs and oliver pens which are um, which are in very uh, medium size a fine size and the nibs are very recommendable for their writing and if you have any query about this pen you can ask in the comment section or else you can whatsapp it um, you can find our mobile number in our site penhouse.in itself thanks for watching thank you